Guys, I use Virtual Shield VPN every single day on my phone and my laptop because anytime I'm online, I want to hide my identity, my activity, and my location. And you can try it for free for 30 days, plus get 30% off by using the link in the description. All right, I had to end the day on a positive note. This is from the Daily Mail. The great flout doors. Britons head to the parks and beaches to soak up 73 degree heat despite lockdown while councils are forced to shut cemeteries. Cemeteries, guys, to clamp down on Easter mourners laying flowers. Britons across the nation are continuing to flout social distancing guidelines as the country tries to control the surge of Cerveza bug cases, which has now hit 84,279. And you can trust that number because it's from the government. It's from Johns Hopkins University, friend to Big Pharma. <laughs> With temperatures soaring to 73 degrees in parts of the UK today, sun-soaked parks and beaches were once again filling up with people flouting lockdown rules by sunbathing. That is music to my ears. As councils were forced to shut down cemeteries to stop Easter mourners gathering to lay flowers. Ridiculous, utterly ridiculous. Stopping people from mourning. Amazing, amazing days in which we live. Today's shocking pictures, and we'll see those shocking pictures in a second. Those people should be ashamed of themselves. Revealed sunbathers lounging in London's Victoria Park, which only reopened its gates yesterday after being closed for two weeks to deter those breaching, breaching the government's social distancing measures, because we know that keeps people safe, right? If the government tells you to do something, you know it's going to keep you safe, because they're always looking out for your best interest. Sun, sunbathing at this park and gathering at Beachy Head in East Sussex. Meanwhile, in Torquay, a family was caught by police and fined for driving nearly 200 miles just to go fishing. So they initiated unjust force and violence on this family who just wanted to go fishing. That's how insane this has become. And that's how dangerous order followers are, despite restrictions placed due to the Cerveza bug. As the nation continues to grapple with the rising death toll, you know that, that number we can all trust. There's no, there's no made up numbers in there. They haven't thrown any other kind of deaths into that Cerveza bug number. No, 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 not to scare you, not to, not to gin up the works, not to fear monger or anything, which has now hit 10,612. Yeah, right. 10,612. Today, cyclists were seen <gasps> embarking on rides of up to 200 miles organized by social fitness app Strava, which tracks cycling and running exercises and other acts of rebellion. Okay, I'm going to show you these shocking pictures, but please brace yourself. It's absolutely jaw-dropping. Oh my God, look at all these people. They're just walking around like regular people do and, and disregarding the illegitimacy of government and having a good time and getting some vitamin D sunshine so that they don't get sick. Because when you obey the government and you do exactly what the government says, somehow people end up dying. I mean, historically, if you can believe history, and if we don't learn from history, we're doomed to repeat it. Are you ready for some more shocking pictures? Oh my God, people just walking around on the beach like, oh, we, we need to talk to these people. They're out there sunbathing. This is horrible. Look, look at all these people ha having fun and having a good time. And oh, here comes the wet blanket. And look at this, guys. They want you to social distance. They want you to obey them, but they are not engaged in any sort of social distancing. But you got to understand, they're trying to help people know, hey, there's a Cerveza bug. We need to be strict about social distancing, about locking in place, about staying home, about staying safe and staying alive. No, no, it doesn't apply to government officials. You should know that by now. Look at this. Doesn't this just make your heart sing? To see people going about their businesses, being free, getting sunshine, laughing, smiling. See, government, government doesn't like to see this. Agents of government don't like to see this, especially governments who have agendas. Look at this. I object, officer. I'm, I'm, I'm just a free guy. No, 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 you can't be free. We have to suspend your human rights. 
because there's a surveys bug. And I, I, you, you have to exercise faith and believe that the government knows what they're talking about, that Bill Gates knows what he's talking about, that Anthony Fauci and Deborah Birx know what they're talking about. We need to shut down for your safety. We're from the government. We're here to help. Look at this. I love this. This reminds me of days, bygone days, where people used to be able to get some sunshine, read a book in the sh- sun, frolic, smile. Look at this. I love that. The great flout doors. Look at this. No social distancing. No submitting to crazy edicts of government psychopaths. Look at this. Shocking photos. Startling pictures. Jaw-dropping acts of rebellion. Guys, I just had to share this with you. Love it. Love it when human beings can walk and live and act like free, freedom-loving people. If you guys enjoy these videos, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon, give them a thumbs up, share them with everybody you know. And remember, the price of freedom is eternal vigilance. And indifference to this notion is the means by which the people have and will secure their own oppression. And when injustice becomes law, resistance becomes duty.